All right, welcome back to another day of digging. So today we're at where we found some more of the older bottles than we normally do. However, the water is pretty high, so we won't be able to go as far as we'd like to go. But um, some parts we're able to walk through. So we're gonna hopefully find some nice bottles. But uh, yeah, my shoulder's still broken or clavicle's still broken. So it's restricting my movement a bit, but it should be good. Hopefully we find some good bottles. So. I think we found that last time, actually. Really? The grass water spec's pretty cool. All right. Still no bottles yet, but you know, we did kind of just start. We always find the most bottles in this creek than anywhere else. Finally, almost found an effect. Nice aged bottle. This would have been a blown aqua beer. Sadly, it's got the neck broken off. I would think about turning it into a cup, but um, uh, yeah, there's nothing embossed on it, so it might not be worth doing it. Ah, look, there's another broken Coke bottle. <laughs> Feels like I'm back at the water dump. Everything's broken. That's gonna be the case, places like this. Is it, yeah, salad dressing. Well, it might be intact. <sighs> yep, screw top salad dressing. I mean, what's like 20s? Yeah. I mean, we can keep it if you want. There's nothing on it. But uh, if you don't find anything else, we'll pick it up on the way out. So. so sadly, the water's up really high down there, so we can't go over there. But there were more spots down this way that we can go to, but I just feel like we might be missing some bottles, which is never a happy thought. One thing that's sad about painted labels is when you find them, the painted label is almost always worn off, because these are collectible, it's just they're hard to get intact, so you really, I guess... You have to find them in really dry dumps or like in the water or something where it's still there. But like we don't even know what this bottle was because there was uh, no embossing on it at all. Okay, first intact bottle. You can pick it up, Drew. But, and it's a Coke, which is a good, good, uh, good first bottle. You want to hold it up? Yeah. So let's see if there's a good date on it. I don't see the Christmas label, but yeah, no, it's just a Patty Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So yeah, that's a good bottle. Here, we'll pack it up. It's a good first bottle. Um, hopefully find some a little older than 1915, but it's still a good bottle. There's a bottle up here? Cool, can I see it? A little medicine bottle? Probably nothing on it. Oh wait, no, there is something on it. Feels like a Castoria though. Yeah, Castoria. All right, so we're gonna pack up the bottles. We wrap them in paper towels just so they don't break. We put them inside the bags. Um, we do that because we have a lot of walking to do and we don't want to end up breaking any. But yeah, so medicine and a Coke. Hopefully we get to some older ones. Um, we're gonna be here a while, but uh, Drew has to leave around noon, so we're trying to get through as much as we can find as soon as possible. Um, but there, we should be getting to some of the older spots soon, ideally, so. All right, bring you guys up when we find some next bottle. Is that a medicine bottle? Is it? Oh, it's embossed too, that's cool. Did you, what was it? Oh, McCormick's Baltimore. I've never seen it in this style of a bottle, though. It's got a pretty bad lip chip, and it's machine made. But it's embossed, it's a nice bottle. Usually I don't find embossed machine made much that size, they're usually slick. All right, let's keep going, we'll find some more. All right, it's the giant milk glass jar. And these can be pretty cool sometimes. Oh, they got a, okay, sadly it's not really an embossing. It's a design, but there is something on the bottom. Woodbury, I think it's kind of worth keeping. Oh wait, here's another bottle. Right here. Uh, nope, it's a medicine bottle. Yeah, it was stuck in the wall. It's embossed too, on all the sides. It's a Dr. Tishner's antiseptic, but it's embossed on all the panels. I've never seen, like, like we find, um, yeah, we find,
find Dr. Tishner's all the time, but I've never seen one with this type of embossing. So I'll, I'll check. It'd be really nice if it's blown. Yeah, it is blown. This is a good bottle. Okay. Never seen one of these before. We'll be keeping it. All right, here's a really small pharmacy bottle. I'm hoping for it to be embossed. Ah, it's not. But that's okay, it's a cute little bottle. You never really find them this size, or maybe you do, but it's like, yeah, it is machine made. But this is a nice size bottle. They're good little window bottles to put in like a bathroom or something, so I'll be keeping it. I need to clean, uh, clean up these bottles and wrap them up before I break them. Well, Drew found a cool toy. <laughs> Uh, it has wheels. It had wheels at least. It has one wheel left. It had it on all four sides. He must have rode it. I can't really tell. That's my boot. <laughs> I can't really tell what kind of animal it was. Maybe a squirrel. I don't know. Kind of creepy finding toys like this. I think the creepiest ones to find are like dolls. If you've ever found a doll, an old uh, plastic. A Is it a dog? Yeah, it's a dog. Okay. All right, so here's a place with a bunch of bottles. Most likely though, they're all modern. Whoa, wait. Hey, Dad, come here. Dig this one up a little bit. I thought it would be broken, but it's stuck in the mud. I can't, it's cork top. Careful, because I might not want to break it if it is old. The shovel's in my bag. It's broken. Um, yeah, y'all dig on that, and I'll walk up this a little bit to see if there's anything worth it. It looks like there might be some Vaseline's. Nope, they're just slick, so I don't know. That's a pretty cool amber flask. Okay, here dad, what does that say on it? It's not old, but it looks... Yeah. Oh wait, this is old, right here. Shoot. Okay, these... There are spider webs all right here, I'm sorry guys. Okay. Ugh. Nah, it's not old, it just looked old. You got one? I think. So this was... McElroy's... What would it be dad? McElroy's what? Yeah, it's not old, it's broken too. Okay, well. Yeah, I think this whole ravine right here is probably not old glass. Or not old enough to keep. But, yeah, it's in the wall, Dad. The, the, the glass, I mean, it's coming out of the wall. It's not just in the middle of the ravine. Okay, yeah, it seems to stop up there. What's that? Um, that's just a big rusted pipe thing. Yeah, if it was a uh, solid, I might have picked it up. Wait. It's not? Okay, well, let me look at it because I have to talking about it. All right, let's get out of here. It's hard to walk through all this. <laughs> it's not old, it's just another, uh, it's a big bottle though. Big square. All right. Finally made it out. Okay, right, the bottle they were pulling up out of the front. It's not an old, slick bottle. Whew, that made my shoulder burn a bit. Oh, more black glass, man. Just want to find it intact. A uh, vapo rub? Probably. Wait, maybe not? It doesn't have the triangles on the bottom. Let me see if I can clean it up and see what it said. But no, cobalts of any age are almost worth are always almost worth keeping because they always look really nice. So it says, yeah, it is a vapor rub. Maybe a newer one, or maybe an older one. I don't know. We'll clean it and keep it. I go, Drew. Man, we're getting to some of the older stuff. This is the closest to an aqua beer intact. Oh wow, that's really old, isn't it? This this is a uh, pre-civil or around Civil War. Civil War. This would have a really a nice pondled bottom to it, and that color is a beautiful color. Finding this, I found almost intact like that before. Oh, here, look. Top to a ginger beer. Man, come on, where are they intact? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. What is this? Ah, oh. man, they're all broken. <laughs> Though actually, I'm gonna keep this because we can turn that into a pretty cool cup. Um, once I figure out how to cut the glass, I'm gonna make a video on that whenever I get to it. Yep, you, you got you got uh, straddled there. <laughs> all right, let's go find that old glass intact now, all right? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, see the screw top to it? 
Yeah, yeah and the square shape to it, that's not going to be that old. So it's never a bad idea to check them out. Uh, let's see, I don't think, this, yeah, the base isn't old. Uh, I was, you showed it, is that my dad? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll pull you guys up when we find the next bottle. Should be pretty soon. So this was a New Orleans root beer. Huh. Embossed on every side of it. This would have been a really cool bottle. Uh, that would have been like stoneware. Uh, clay. Like what jugs are made out of. Alright, well. This was sad, but we'll keep going. But they just found something I just found the other day as well. The cone ink, and it's blown. And it's embossed. Let's see what it said. Or says. So this was a Carter's. It says 1897 on it. Made in the USA. Really cool bottle. Here you go. Alright. It's a good bottle. The last one I found wasn't... It was a little older than that and it wasn't embossed. But this one's embossed so it kind of makes up for it. Now you see the texture on it? That They didn't have textures on bottles like that that old. This would have been like Art Deco. Maybe a painted label? If it was embossed, it might be worth keeping. Oh, you have to get... Nice, with this bottle right here. Looks like a little Tishner's. Yep, Dr. Tishner's antiseptic with a giant hole in it. <laughs> That's alright. We find those every time. And look at this guy. This is a bottom to a nice wine or black glass. A painted label right there. So yeah, there, there's bottles all over the place in here. We'll just have to get to them. Look at this. Another Coke. This might be one of the ones we left last time too. <laughs> um, just want to see if it had a date on it. Christmas Cokes are always nice. Nope. Just a Pat D. So yeah, 1915 Coke. That's still a good bottle. Look at this. Shoe polishes. I find these all the time at the water dump. It's broken though. Um, that one. What is it? Ah, broken glass, yeah. You'll find broken, uh, this is a square one too, a square medicine. It's a little less common. Okay. It's a pharmacy bottle. Yeah, that looks like one of the ones we left last time because of where it is. All right. Yeah. If you want to, we can set your bag down too if you want. But okay. Yeah, you can if you want. All right, we'll keep going. We'll find some more. All right, Drew pulled out the bottle in the water. I think it's a screw top, yeah. But it's embossed, so let's see what it says. Um, there's that Coke bottle right at your feet there. Oh my gosh, I can't read. Dr. Kilmore's Swamp Root. <laughs> Dr. Kilmore's Swamp Root, anything that's worth? Kilmer's? That's what I said, yeah. But it's a screw top. It's kind of cool bottle. Alright. Alright, Drew just picked up this embossed amber medicine. I kind of want to read what it says. Molinol F.A. Dix and Co Company, New Orleans. Let's see. It's, uh, it's machine made, but it's still a nice amber medicine. Slug plated from Wilson, Louisiana. Never seen it before. Of course, it's broken. <laughs> That's how the good bottles are. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And if you guys like the video, consider subscribing and liking the video. And I'll be posting maybe uh, once a week. Not sure since my shoulder's broken, but uh, once that heals, definitely at least once a week. So but yeah, see you guys again in the dump.